you found me. Take a seat. I'm going to teach you about all the odd tips that you need to know. I'm better than Ethan Becker, Blob, and Sam does art all combined. And I have my art to show for it. I don't have to brag, you know. I, I just put my art on this screen and everybody knows that I'm literally better than anybody that's ever existed in the digital art scene online. And Ross draws while he cleans my house. Anyways, sorry about that. Maybe I'm a little bit bitter, huh? <laughs> Moving on. Clips, uh, I, I like all of them, by the way. Clip Studio Paint, right? Before I get into the video, I would like you to know. Oh, wait, let me change the expression of my face. Like, like that. And if you hear my sister yelling, I'm sorry about that. So Clip Studio Paint, I've used it on PC. I mean laptop when I had it, then I broke it. So I'm poor now, anyways. It's great. It's probably the best if your PC can, yeah, it is the best. Well, it's on par with Sai, let's be real. Sai brushes are really, really good and people still use them. Even people that have a lot of artists that I follow that have, um, clip, they use Clip Studio Paint still like to do their line work inside because just because the blushes are just so good. And um, anyway, so yeah, I've used it on busy is really good. I've done commissions on it and personal art, it works. And Photoshop is definitely better than it, but Photoshop is not a digital art like software. Clip Studio is specifically for digital art. And that's why I would say it's the best. Now moving on to the Android version. Let me change my expression again. Look, man, I spent a lot of time drawing these. Haven't you seen that Ethan Beckett video where he's like, go learn how to draw really expressive faces. Anyways, yeah, that's my face for now because I'm going to be talking about the cones of Clip Studio Paint Android version, which I draw on it every single day. I've drawn on it for the past six, three months. And the tablet that I own is Samsung S Lite. The screen is about 10 inches, not very big. I don't know how big the iPad screen is, but I'm pretty sure it's the same, right? So, if you put Procreate, nah, yeah, if you put Procreate in Clip Studio, like, if you look at them, you'll see that Procreate is a lot more optimized, like, it doesn't, you can see your entire page on this screen, it doesn't take up space like this. If you look at Clip Studio Paint, as you can see, it literally looks like how it looks, how the Windows version looks. They did not do, they did not put any effort in trying to make it optimized for an Android tablet where you don't have a lot of space, right? And that's my only problem because every time I'm working, I will have to zoom in to work on details like this. And then when I zoom out, my drawing kind of looks like kind of falling apart because I have to focus on really small, like, I have to draw in, like, blocks, uh, right? Because I can't be zoomed out, and because the screen is too small, I wouldn't be able to render it. And so, it doesn't look very cohesive. Like, I am unhappy with it, and I'm gonna... It's good for drawing anime stuff, anime chibi, all that, but if I wanted a more serious art, I cannot do it on the Android version. It would be nicer to have a PC, and I am going to get one soon. And that's probably my only, like, the only dig I'm going to make at Clip Studio Paint, bro, because everything else is great. It works just as good. Well, not just as good. Of course not just as good. <laughs> but it is just literally just a replica of the PC version, right? It's just not optimized. And... Now, the pros, which definitely outweigh the cones. The pros are... You can have multiple windows. Other than that, I don't have any problems drawing with Studio Paint. I've been drawing a lot of commissions on this, on my Samsung tablet. And it's fine, because it's not super heavy work, but... I definitely need a bigger screen if I want to do more serious, more rendered digital art. So, if you're looking to draw anime stuff or stuff that does not need a lot of rendering, you can use Clip Studio Paint. 
but if you want to be drawing like League of Legends splash art, it's probably better to save up and get an actual drawing tablet that works with a laptop. But then, of course, you don't have to. If you don't have the money, you can start here. It's not bad. It's just that you, it will take you extra effort because you have to zoom in and zoom out all the time. And that's the only problem. It's not very time efficient. You want to be time efficient. Bro, time is money, bro. You're a digital artist. You're going to be on the streets in no time looking at McDonald's. You got to be making those cash, bro. Sorry. Anyways, that's all I have to say. This probably didn't even cover everything. I was just sitting on the sofa and I thought, you know what, I want to teach kids something. I want to give away to the community. Not that the community gave me anything, to be honest, but you know, I'm trying, doing my part anyways. So yeah, it's like, like what other option do you have if you don't use Clip Studio Android? You get Medibang, it's not that good, let's be real, unless you're some odd god and you can work with any software. I'm not. And I feel like Clip Studio is better than Medibang, but at the same time, Medibang on the Android version is more optimized to be the Android version. And I haven't really tried the Quita Android version, but that looks just as shitty as Clip Studio. <laughs> but still, if I had to pick one out of everything, I would pick Clip Studio. But by then, Clip Studio is appropriate because it's more optimized you can see your entire paper it doesn't have like small windows like this anyways thanks for watching my video Ooh. oh no oh what did i do yes